Hi there, and we're just here with Jesse Heyman from Movember Canada, and he's going to talk to us about the importance of men's mental health. Now, Jesse, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, Jesse, you just want to tell me, you know, why is men's mental health such a concerning issue? I mean, mental health in general is a big issue right now in mental illness, uh, whether it's male or female. But on the male side, something that's not really being spoken about is the numbers behind it. And three of four deaths by suicide are men, yet we're underdiagnosed versus women. And no one's really talking about that side of things. So for us, uh, we want to get the awareness out there for sure, but also make sure that we can be there for men uh, when they reach out and do need help. And what are some of the symptoms of uh, depression in men? They can take many forms, but a big one is um, isolation. So not being yourself and changing attitude, uh, spending a lot of the time of your time or your free time at home or in your room, depending on what age we're talking. Um, but any drastic change in behavior, and that might be being a calm person that then is pretty irritable and violent, or being a very energetic person that's now very calm and, and somber. Um, so any really large changes in personality is a, a sign that there may be something and likely is something going on. What are some of the factors that's uh, preventing men from seeking help? Yeah, I think there's many. Uh, one is we're not necessarily always aware of the way that a mental illness presents in a man. So depression in a man may look very different than a depression in a woman, which is probably what we're used to traditionally hearing about. But also it's just plain that we're not as comfortable reaching out and asking for help. And that's come back to really something we hear about all the time, which is tough it up. And men are usually raised to tough it up. If you get hurt in hockey, get back out there. Um, if you're talking about your feelings, your friends are probably going to, whether it's make fun of you or um, just not, uh, not think that it's a very manly thing to do. And so it really does come back to that toughness. And when we talk about it, I think what really makes you tough is talking about your feelings and being able to make yourself vulnerable and put yourself out there and ask for help when you need it. And so from November's point of view, we're trying to create a conversation and sometimes using the mustache to do that, to create a conversation that's light and fun, yet brings up the topic of health and makes men more comfortable talking about taking care of their health in general, but also their mental health. Yeah. And um, if someone's experiencing uh, depression or any other mental health issues, where can they reach out? Where can they access support? I mean, the number one is to talk to your doctor if you have one. If you don't, it would be good to get one. Um, but talk to your doctor. Um, if you don't have a doctor or you're not comfortable with necessarily speaking, speaking to a professional on that level, a family or friend is a great place to start just to have someone that's there for you. Um, but the other side of it is there's many resources out there for people to access help in an unintimidating way, meaning you're not necessarily talking to someone and sharing your story intimately. We just launched a program just a few weeks back called Heads Up Guys, and it's a website, headsupguys.ca, that gives guys coping tips, whether it's uh, a light stress that they're dealing with that they want to figure out how to cope, um, or it's severe depression and they need to understand where they can access help um, and get some advice from other people that have gone through it. So headsupguys.ca is a great resource. There's also brotalk.ca, which uh, we launched with Kids Help Phone as part of a grant uh, from 2013 for $3 million where Kids can go, it's an online zone from 14 to 18 year old boys, and they can get help. It might be advice on how to deal with relationship struggles, or sex, or schoolwork, or dealing with the pressures of your parents, but if you need more than that, and you need more than advice, or you need more than a game to relieve stress, you can talk to a counselor, and you can talk to them online, which again, is an unintimidating way to get help. And if you need to actually speak to someone, you can pick up the phone and call BroTalk as well. All right, Jesse, well, thanks for coming in and uh, sharing all this information about men's mental health. We really appreciate it. And just to let everyone at home know, I'm actually fundraising for Movember Foundation of Canada. And if you'd like to donate, go to mobro.co forward slash rhnarine. For Halton Insider, I'm Hayden Narine.